<laughs> Welcome back, random TV reviews, your girl Lana. And it's your boy Stanley. All right, um, let's hey. get into this Empire. I didn't expect Empire to be this guy doing good, but I'm so glad Man. that it was. Cause I was sitting on my sofa for real, for real. I got on a cute top and got doing gym um, pants. <laughs> hey. That's how jacked up I am today. But anywho, before we get into this freaking recap, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all know that next week is not gonna be the finale for us. It's actually right here, right now. We will actually be traveling out of the country. Yeah. We will not be here. We may not be here for a couple of weeks. It just depends on how things flow and when we get back, how we feeling. Have we gotten back acclimated to regular life and whatnot. Yeah. But I just want you all to wish us um, traveling mercies and all of that good stuff like y'all always do. Yeah, indeed. And ones that we said it last night too, the ones that gave the, the prayers, traveling mercies. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we're going to give y'all what we got tonight. Oh yeah, and then next week we're gonna we're gonna put y'all in the hands of some other folk. Hey. So y'all go support the rest of the family members here on YouTube that does this review as well. Oh yeah, like you said last night, if you want to see where we went to and what we doing, we're gonna post it on the vlog channel when we get back. Life with us TV. That's it. Yeah. So let's get started. Um, hey. Empire. First of all, let me do the YouTube thing. If you are not a family member, which simply means you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's free 99 and once I come back from vacation, I may have to charge y'all for this yet. Because yeah. I'm spending a grip. But anywho, it's free for now. Yeah. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that your bell is pressed. That'll let you know when we come back with another one. And if you're a family member, y'all know what to go ahead and do. Don't watch us in public. Some of y'all be talking to y'all. <laughs> be trying to get fired from y'all jobs. I can't afford to pay y'all. Yeah. Um, let's get into it. Sam. Bloody nose. And a crack got done what? Crack what? Crack crowns. Hey. Why are you looking at my hand right? Why are we, you got um you got argan oil right here? Hey. But anyway, the board decided that they were gonna go ahead and vote Eddie back in as the executive consultant, which we knew that was going to happen. I said it's got to be the dumbest board of all times. Uh, Eddie had to have you can't eaten. see the book. Yeah. Eddie ate Edna out in the in the um Elevated. There's no yeah, other way around it. Cause she looking him up and down like he a lollipop. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and Anika is there, and so is Tiana. And I'm sitting here like, here we go with this boost. Why did Tiana even have to be there? Yeah. One. Well, we know why Anika's there because she has a deal with. And Edna she was trying. For what? For what? Lucia's over there pissed as he should be. Mm -hmm. So when they ended up going back into their separate ways and whatnot. Andre told Lucia, said, listen, you're going to have to figure out a way to get the board members on your side because at this rate right here, they're going to sell this company to Patel. Yep. And it's going to be on and popping. And he was like, we don't have the buying power to do what we need to do. And God darn it, we are not going to go private because Cookie actually suggested that they go back private. Yeah, buy and, back the shares. And he was like, no, we're not fitting to do that. And plus, we don't have that kind of money. Even if we sold everything that we have, we, still we don't have that kind of money. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Finances 101. Where the hell are your money? See, see, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here because this is going to be my finale. Hey. Black folk, stop wearing all your skit. Stop driving all your skit. Huh? And then when skit hits the fan, you ain't got no money. Ain't got no money. Just ain't got no. That's going to be my next t-shirt. Hashtag, I ain't got no. So I'm sitting here like, all that flossing that you do, all this paying off that you do, all these goons that you got in the camp that you got to pay off to keep them from running their mouth. But you ain't got enough money to keep the company. What? Huh? Oh, God. We need it. We need him to go back to the hood and learn. Yeah. Learn. But they end up going back to the hood route. Yeah. But they got on rent party. Why I said got on that was a brilliant idea. It was a brilliant idea. Because Cookie came with, up with the idea of having a rent party because they sitting there trying to figure out a way that they were going to get this money. And they went back to back in the day where they ain't had no heat. Yeah. And they were like, you know, such and such kicked in. And they was like, well, hold on. We ain't got no friends with this kind of money and no capital. So what we going to do? Well, we going to have a rent style party type of thing. On Empire Extreme. 
I said, hmm, I said, this, huh. this may got doing yeah. work, but who's going to be your got doing frontliners? Okay. Well, conveniently, because y'all know that Blake is, mm, because of what happened last week, Blake's father ended up going on this television show and was talking about <laughs> licorice <laughs> lion was actually poisoning <laughs> everyone with these crazy lyrics got his son not remembering that he is a white boy this that and third and all of a sudden we see blake take the microphone and he started going at his dad and he was like hold Shut on hold down. on what you're not gonna do is get up here and make it seem like i wanted to do this stuff willingly you sat there and you made me yep. do that you made me take these pictures you basically ruined my life and i haven't seen you for the let for 15 years of my life yep. after I did this. So you ruined my life. And that's not who I am. Now, Cookie, Lucius, and the rest of the gang, they're watching all of this yep. go down on television. They lie. Lucius hmm. said, mm 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 mm. Let's yeah. get Blake. Yeah, bring him back. He, yeah, he gonna help us get some of his money back. And I was like, Blake, don't fall for it. But at the same time, fall for it, Blake. It is what it but is. But I'm glad the Empire did that. Cause it's a whole lot of cats that's, that's, that's being labeled as being racist. And they was forced into it. Yeah. Yeah. But, or they but, but like they did stuff like that that they yeah, didn't understand. Yeah, and they not living that lifestyle at, at the current moment, but stuff comes back from the past that haunts them and then people put that on. I saw something yesterday on Facebook that actually made me have a hmm moment. It says, Are black people the new racist? And something about And I said Wow. Hmm. It is something to think about, and it's in so many words. I know some black people that really. But you don't racist. be careful though. You can't get into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While all this bullshit get going with Donald Trump and all these, I had freedom. checked myself one time. Yeah, you got to <laughs> check yourself because it's easy to slip into. I, I'm not gonna say that you that you racist, but you could fall into having a hate playing the race card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based off of what a few are doing. Yeah, you know. But anywho, but I, yeah, but I, we ain't come talk about that. We ain't come talk about that part. So. They know that they need someone else in the pocket. So they go after Jamal and the collective. And Jamal, anonymous. Anonymous. I said, you talking about anonymous that show up on your screen like this? Welcome, everyone. This is anonymous. And I want you to know that tomorrow is your the, last day. <laughs> the world is going to end. And I'll be sitting there like, Kiss your that? wife and your kids. Because it's over. Good job. <laughs> and the screen go blank. I said, what? I'm like, huh? Well... Um, of course, Jamal had to think about that thing and he told his dad no at first. And then I guess he realized, you know what, this is going to be a great um, opportunity for my group and all that good stuff and be able to mm -hmm. put their sound out there. Because the only reason why they went anonymous is because they know Lucius won't let them put their music out. Uh-huh. But the whole time Lucius knew that it was going down in the background. And I was like, Becky, did you tell? But he actually said that, you know, he noticed the difference. In yeah, noticed his, his ad-libs and his hooks. Yeah, he know, yeah. I said, okay, okay. So now it's up to Jamal to try to talk the collective into doing so. We found out a little later on that all of them decided they were going to go ahead and get on board with this mission. Except for Tori Ash. I said, okay, Tori. Say don't don't. What don't. we not gonna do? Say you really is gonna be anonymous if that company gets sold. Cause mm -hmm. ain't nobody gonna know you. Yeah. So, Cookie, Lucius, and Andre actually came up with this brilliant plan because y'all know how everybody has been. They kind of excommunicated Andre from the family. They ain't really fooling with him. They, it's like, uh, we accept you because you blood, but not really. That kind of thing. Well, Eddie doesn't really know if there's a resolve with that or not. And I'm like, is there a resolve with this? Because to me, Andre's still trying to fight his way back into the freaking yep, family. He sure is. Well, he told him, say, you know what? Eddie doesn't know where I stand with you all. So I can easily go over there, play him against you all. Is that, did I say that right? Basically, yeah. I'm going to play the game, play the game with to get, Eddie. To get the numbers. But I'm going to bring back the information to you. Yeah. Well, he went on over there. Anika, I said, Anika's going to peep this out. Oh, she's going to peep this out. And she kind of did at first. But because of the relationship that the Lions had with Andre, he was able to win him over with that. And they went ahead and brought Andre into the fold. You know, they were sitting there talking about different stuff and whatnot. And there was one time in there where <laughs> Lucius and um, 
Cookie was going to meet this guy named Sam. Yeah. I guess they were trying to get some money. And Eddie stopped him in the hallway. It was like, oh, y'all get ready to go meet with Sam. I'm sorry. He's not going to be able to help you. Ah, he should have called you. We yeah, just met with him. He's not going to compete with Patel. He don't play them kind of games. I heard, okay. Say, bastards, man. So we got Andre in the fold with Eddie and Anika. And he was actually able to look through the folder and see the bottom line that Cookie and Lucius need to actually get to to actually save Empire. Mm -hmm. Do what they needed to do. So he took a picture of it, sent it to Lucius and them, so they knew that they needed to meet, a, what was it, six? 650 million. Something like that, in order to beat them at their own game. So they were gonna do this whole extreme thing, this rent party. I said, that ain't a goddamn rent party. That's a mortgage party. Yeah. That's a goddamn, that's a mansion party. Huh. That was a lot of rent. <laughs> um, so they ended up having this event which to me it was cool as hell. Yeah, I, like, en yeah. I enjoyed the guy though. Thing. I was like, where can I tune in at? <laughs> and even the new girl, that, that this was funny. Cause y'all know Hakeem was messing with the girl last week. Don't remember her name this week. Didn't remember her name last week. Just said a girl from the movie set. That's how much I care. So they were laying in the bed. They don't hooked up, did what they had to do. And Big Shoes, Big Shoes came on again. And I said, y'all better run James Caldwell his freaking money. Do you so? If y'all want to keep on putting that in front of our face. like we And he about. need back pay, back pay plus interest. I know that's right. Yeah, doing it. Scratching and surviving. Yeah. So, sh um, Hakeem was up there doing what he did with Blake. Because Blake is now performing with them and whatnot. And they basically reintroduced Blake. Said that they were sorry that they judged him based off of that picture. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. They did their thing. And all of a sudden, Hakeem said, Hey, I want to dedicate this next song to, to the lady in my life. That's now, been in my corner all this time. I was I said, like, What? You gonna bring you gonna bring that wench up there after all this shit that she done done? Because Tiana was off to the side with Becky just talking mad skit, talking about, so I just came to watch the tragedy, this, that, and the third. And when, she, when he said that part, and that girl came from behind Tiana, walked in <laughs> front of Tiana, and went on that stage, Tiana's whole face brought up, <laughs> fell on the floor. Becky said, where you going? You forgot your face. That's your face, baby. <laughs> And they was doing their thing, and I said, something ain't right. Something ain't right about this here girl and this guy doing hookup. Is it? I said, is she Eddie and um, Giselle's daughter or something? I mean, what I is know. happening here? I don't know. It might not be because but, your mama Becky was the one to introduce him to the daggone movie set, though. So Becky but, wouldn't have set him up like that. But when Becky started doing movies? <laughs> when? She ain't did a movie since she, she ain't talking, but she don't do movies, man. I'm talking like about I the said. people gave her a call and said they wanted her king. Why? So you think Eddie put them up to give Becky a call? Becky ain't did movies since Precious. <laughs> Why they gonna call her for that? <clears throat> they tried to pull a Tyler Perry on us. Huh? I ain't falling for the boo skit. I'm not doing it. Leave Becky alone, man. She oh, Becky, my good... Man, me and Becky like this, but we really not. But, but I hope, I hope, I ain't even gonna say it. What? I'd rather say I hope she ain't, ain't on you know, something to set them up too. Nah, I can't see that though. Hmm. But anything is possible these huh? days because these hoes don't Can't you know said These hoes ain't loyal, man. They ain't loyal, when man. When it come down to the bread, man, people will turn on you quick. Yeah. At the right price. Hello. So we over there at the um, rent party. And we have Andre over there with um, Eddie and them. They're watching the numbers go up, doing their own thing. Eddie confronts um, Andre. Andre, tells Andre, I know you've been going back and forth between us and your pops. I know how the lion thing works. And basically the number that you have been chasing was a false number that we put out there for you because we knew that your family would, would probably try to reach that. But the number is way higher than what we have put on that paper. So basically, call your family off. I said, huh, you scared. 
Yeah, you scared. scared. Yeah. Call your family off. Tell them to quit while they're ahead. And you come on over here once we take everything over. And you be the CFO and take your rightful position as you should. No, he said CEO. Oh, did he say CEO or he CFO? Said, I think he said CEO of the company. Did he say CEO? I don't know if he said CEO, but that was supposed to be Anika. Well, he going to be one of them C's. <laughs> God darn it. God. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Well, he already won C. Crazy. Lee, he's not crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. He's touched. Crazy. So, Andre goes in the bathroom, and he looks himself in the mirror, and he's... Yeah, when they were talking, he went into that look like he hadn't had his medicine. <laughs> and he looked at himself in the mirror, I said, Andre. But I said, I said, Andre. crazy Andre, look, he got he, a plan. He got it. He always got a plan. So, next thing we know, Andre comes around to the guard. Told the guard, said, hey, do you ever take five? He was like, you know how I go. Basically, I'm loyal to my job. Andre looked him straight in his face and said, take five. Dude was like, he said, matter of fact, take ten. Ten. He said, okay. Uh, okay. Next thing we know, over there at the rent party. Everything stops. Server go down. No Everybody's in a panic. What the hell? Next thing I know, Andre pops up on the scene. He said, I did that. Now, Lucius don't went crazy. Yeah. What why the did you hell? do that? I said, yeah, why did you do that? Because yeah, I please. knew that there's a, there's, a me that. <laughs> there's a method behind this guy doing madness. Well, Andre basically tells them, said, look, basically, I gave you 15 minutes to go incognito and to be able to push your stuff public. Yeah. So when we go back online in 15 minutes, we need to have our skit together because the world is gonna see us Craig not just the city the but whole the world. world Craig so you better get ready Lucia said that's a great uh, idea say so once again Andre don't save y'all tail here go cookie said that with that big brain yeah that, stop calling that boy big brain <laughs> I hate that but Andre always between Andre and Thurston, them the ones that should own the company, the most shares in the goddamn company. Okay, they're the one that keeps saving their hind part. Remember with Thurston when they were trying to figure out how they were gonna come up with the money and they said how much it was. Thurston <laughs> said, <coughs> "Y'all ain't got it." We no, no. He said, "Y'all." He said, "We ain't got it." You know how we? <laughs> we ain't got it. I said Thurston. Cause you know, cause you know when you in a room around some black people they ain't got no money and they start talking about they need money you can't ever say that you ain't got no money because it becomes personal they're gonna get pissed off so we're trying to say you ain't gonna help me so you gotta say we ain't got the money <laughs> that's all you gotta do so it's no longer personal <laughs> stop. stop talking <laughs> paywall right so in the meantime Lucius get up there cookie gets up there basically tells everybody in the audience because I mean they're incognito only the people that's in that room is knowing what the hell's going on right now well no they still are streaming you just can't see what the numbers are yeah so now we see that the audience is everybody from doctors lawyers to prisoners street people on the street I mean, and it was it was everybody. It was it was reaching everybody because first of all, you the know. world, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So Lucius, you know them preaching outfits that he always wear. He should have really had. He should have had one of them on. Yep. Because he gave the best motivational speech ever, talking about some how you strive for what you have, how you work hard for what you have. Don't ever sell out. And don't let no punk a <laughs> like Eddie come in and try to steal your skit. Steal your dream. And that's what's going to happen if y'all don't get behind us so that we can take our company back. Uh-huh. Okay. And in 15 minutes when these servers go back on, I want everybody to get on their cell phones right now. Get yeah. on social media. Tell your mama now. Tell your auntie now. Everybody. Tell your, call your, your dead daddy in the grave and tell him to do tap a phone. Tune in. And tell him to call the rest of the people at the grave site and tell them, hey, we need you. Yeah. So come on through. 15 minutes went by and then the collective showed up, including Tori. Yeah. 
they went up there and did their thing and the numbers start rising. Them numbers were shooting when they got on them. Like, yeah, I said, okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't enjoy Jamal. Jamal, it's either a hit or miss with Jamal. He's never in the middle. And I'm like, here's the baby goat again. Oh, oh, never, no, no. You gonna leave Jamal alone. Why? Yeah. But why? Why should I? He, he the loyalist, loyalist, loyalist one in the family. That's a lie. Andre is. Besides Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Got to say, you know Hakeem has baby boy syndrome. He's never going to be loyal to anything but this. Yeah, true that. So. I just caught that. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> So, we saw, when the thing came back up, we saw support from everybody from Magic Johnson Eva. to Eve. I'm not Eva. That's Eve. My yeah. niece name is Eva. That's why he That's said why it. That's why I said it, yeah. <laughs> so, we know that not only, like we said, got the prisoners, it's the world. Got the celebrities and everybody in the world, Craig. So, Patel, their money. Patel and Eddie, they're watching it because they're back online now. And Patel is pissed. He was like, Eddie, you screwed yourself and you screwed me. Uh-uh. This, this didn't go the way that we thought it was going to go. Eddie said, no, no, no. This ain't the end. I got a goddamn plan. I ain't going to go down like no sucker. I don't lose. I All I do is win, 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 no matter what. So I'm looking at him and I said, what is going on? And all of a sudden, we saw that he got a text from his wife. First wife, second wife. I can't remember. Giselle. Giselle. Saying and it done. Said, said done. I said, well... What the? I'm like, what did that mean? Cause, but I think we found out at the end. We found the end with that. With okay, that, all right. Know. Well, I got a question before we move on. Sure. Let's let's, let's just fast forward this to real life. Let's just say if Jay Z's company was getting ready to be sold for me for him, and he did a live thing on thing, and the whole world see it, and ask everybody to uh, pitch in to help save his company. You think we'd do it, man? They would do it on the behalf of Beyonce, but not him. No, not him. <laughs> no. Not him. And he cheated too. <laughs> and but not nail white but girl. He got Give some the money. fans too though. Like I said. See, so check it out. Look, if you got he got well over a hundred million fans. And then so you looking at but he fan, one every fan give a dollar. That's a hundred million dollars. He in the world of hip hop, they consider him old. Yeah. So everything is about his wife right now, and he know that. But he don't care. You still pay. I mean, I know. He doesn't care. Uh. But we're not going to help save his company. <laughs> and bet not nail white girl donate no money because we're going to swear she back in with the good half. What about Lil Wayne? I'd help Lil Wayne. Because Lil Wayne is that's what no he's, home. See, that's what he should have been, you know, with all this Birdman stuff going on. He should have did a live stream just like that. <laughs> and I and be, got everybody to pitch in. And I'd be right here like uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. To buy his buy, matter of fact, go and start your own company, and we be we'll be the investors. And my and if he sing my song, pussy ain't nigga, <laughs> pussy ain't <laughs> fuck with me wrong. So oh, they go hundred dollars. <laughs> Man is thinking this. Another hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it must be some pussy. Another hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I be saying, that's all be getting me to work. <laughs> Alright, let's get this shit back on back on the road. Did you cuss? <laughs> I said get this shit. Oh. S H I P, not S H I P. So we see that after everything went down, it the numbers exceeded the expectations. Yeah. We see Cookie and Lucius having a moment. I said Cookie about to give up the good. Yeah, he about Lucius about ready to get the boop, 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 boop. And the next morning, she gave to him so good they had to eat them a good old broth. Uh-huh. They sit at the table, who shows up at the house? Juanita, Juanita, <laughs> Juanita's wig was sitting out here like this. <laughs> like, all my life I had to fight. <laughs> I had to f She said, you got Eddie and Giselle at the door. She said, tell them come on tell in. Come on in. Eddie said, you know what? That was a good game that you played out there. But, um. I know how you are. I know when you you went through your little trauma when now you would see your colors and oh, I said stop it. <laughs> and he, you both be this the good guy like Chucky, you know, the good guy. But he said, I know you. And I know that there is that evil son of a bee. That violence. 
that lives inside of you. And it didn't die. I'm looking right at it right now. I'm looking at the demon right now. Come Lucia out. said, I ought to go ahead and turn it loose on you. <laughs> so, I mean, do you want me to use my gift on you? <laughs> and he said, Giselle, go ahead and show him what we got. He said, see, we know that you killed Shine. We know that. And here's the evidence to prove it. Because, you know, you left behind a little souvenir when you killed him. And, oh... Your goons with the right amount of money, they started talking. Here it is right here. Here's the scarf. And you saw Lucius get off. I said, oh, hell. Oh, hell. But then I thought about it. I said, I you know what? I don't think he got it. I think that's, that's Eddie's got on scarf. Because when Lucius put the scarf on Sean, I said, why the hell would you do something like yeah, that? Yeah, and he don't make no amateur moves like that. Yeah. Yeah. So Stanley said that he believed that that guy throwing Lucius don't took that scarf from Eddie a long time ago, or he may have bought it and yeah. got at his DNA on that Joker. Yep. And he was, that's why, like Mike B said, that's why he put it all on him all willy-nilly because if it all traces back, it ain't gonna come back to him. Now, according to next week's preview, I don't know what the hell to think. We just know that Eddie got smacked. The taste I just got on my own. But yeah, I, I, I don't believe no... Uh, none of Lucia's DNA is on that on that scarf. Yeah, but something is not right because even when um Thirsty was saying to that his goons were well no thirst remember the goons last week kind of had an issue with doing all his work and not getting what they thought they were gonna get out of the deal. Oh, they could they could like they could have rolled over. So I'm like I don't know what could be happening, but but it, but it's it. still but it's still a dumb plan because either way they got the money to buy the shares back from the shareholders. So. Even if Lucius go to jail, they still get the company back. Yeah. So he might end up if even if it is his DNA on there, he go to jail. You know, he had to be cooking for ten years like she did, and cooking run the company. But yeah. At least they get to buy it back. And then you see from the preview, since we ain't gonna be here next week, it looks like he wants to propose to Cookie. And I said, so are we gonna do this God doing hurry up and marry me skit so that you can't testify against me? Because Cookie is the one that really does know that he did it. Mm hmm And thirsty and, and all the other folks. Yeah. Some, I mean, of course, Thursday, he's not able to really talk because he's a lawyer. Yeah, conflict of interest, man. So, I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go. But basically, Eddie told him, say, you need to turn over or go to prison. Pick your choice. And Lucius was looking at him like, I, I'm not built for that. So, uh -huh. I don't know how it's going. But at uh -huh. the end of the day, I wouldn't even be mad if Lucius goes to prison. Lucius don't did a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, he deserved it. He, he both have been behind the balls. So, say grace and mercy, them been right. following him all days of his life. <laughs> and it get, might get ready to end. So, I don't so know. We'll see, man. Well, our season finale, straight from the VA. The Birdie, dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Hello. Hello.